Howdy, how are you doing? So, before you even receive this reading, you need to leave that anxiety at the door. Depression? Don't know her. When it comes to receiving a reading during this time frame, you're just vibing out with me. We're just hanging out, so. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Cancer, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading, Cancer. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know, Cancer, in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that's how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments, Cancer. Uh, as well, if you do enjoy this reading, or you just enjoy my vibe, Cancer, I'd really enjoy it if you, or appreciate it rather, I guess, uh, if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, Cancer, because it does help out my channel a lot. Um, and yeah, <laughs> before we get into this weekly reading for you, Cancer, I just want to say and remind you that when it comes to my weekly readings, I don't believe they should be making a decision in your life. Use your intuition, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. Uh, Cancer, you know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. When it comes to my readings, they're just here for some food for thought, a perspective to consider, but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards. No tarot reading should be ever doing that for you. So, all that being said, my beautiful Cancer, let's just jump into your weekly reading, shall we? So, starting this out, Cancer, I kind of want to get a general idea of what's going on for you right now, right? And so, we pulled the Knight of Air for you, or it'd be the Knight of Swords in normal tarot. And so, the Knight of Air says, the events that occur with great speed, take time to carefully review, to review your options and to uh, consider creative solutions. So, this is this time, I feel like, it feels like in this time period, uh, Cancer, you're looking at um it's like you're looking at the drawing board and you're trying to figure out it's just like okay what can you do um what is it that you need to change um what is it that uh just it's just an overall just like a i see i won't be surprised cancer if we get like a probably like a four of pentacles or a uh, hermit card in this reading for you just because it's very much so remind me of this energy of where it's just like a lot starting to ramp up for you and so or a lot's just hamp uh, happening happening for you cancer or are you probably feeling a little bit overwhelmed and so it seems like you're taking this momentary uh pause and being like is there anything that you can do cancer to improve on your situation because looking at this let's see here we have the seven of our oh, own we have the nine of earth or nine of air i'm trying to decide how this storyline wants to go first so with this nine of air this is expecting the worst self-fulfilling prophecies and sleepless nights and so this is what you're having anxiety about maybe something that hasn't even happened i don't i mean not to say that you're not experiencing like struggles or just stresses because that's just life honey cancer right all of us are always dealing with something in our lives right but this is letting me know more so, Cancer, that you're really in your head at this time. And I don't know if you're just naturally always in your head, Cancer, or if something has happened or just because of a lot of things kind of overwhelming you right now that um, it's kind of getting you just overall just anxiety. Maybe you just don't deal with stress very well, Cancer. And so when things or confrontation happens, it just is like a spiraling effect for you. So yeah, with this uh, nine of air, this is just overall like anxiety in a nutshell. And so coming from there, you are in this eight of earth energy, this eight of pentacles energy. Skilled work is rewarded, learning all that there is to know about a topic and going back to school. So I know this card says going back to school, but overall this is just a card um cancer for i feel like i called you a scorpio i hope i hopefully i didn't cancer um with this eight of earth this is more so just a focus on um trying to uh such a ridiculous wording but update your knowledge i guess or update your perspective um it definitely is in this place of where cancer it's like you're trying to observe uh, maybe other people or like what's going on for other people and trying to see how that could uh, benefit you or maybe for some of you guys i'm getting like your it's almost like some of you guys are like look trying to find like signs to like feed this anxiety to feed some type of a narrative a narrative that's not probably very pleasant because you have this nine of air coming in here right i just keep on hearing the anxiety for you for you cancer isn't it just is making me think that you guys are right now just in this like state of just being like this anxious uh anxiety ball of a mess 
and um, you're definitely not a mess, a Scorpio. There we go. I called you Scorpio, but now we can get it out of my head, Cancer. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it just shows to me like a level of um, overthinking and the overthinking coming from this sense of... Um, how do we want to word this, Cancer? I'm getting like this sense of where it's like you're only overthinking it just because you're not... Val you're not valuing yourself enough, or like more so of a doubting yourself maybe you feel as if like um things are not like going to work out nicely for you just because like you're anxious but maybe about like your own capabilities um but then you have the seven of earth coming in seeds well planted a temporary pause in action and unnecessary worry now cancer i love this card in this deck because for this one this is addressing like that anxiety, right? It literally, the card itself literally says at the end, unnecessary worry. I mean, like, come on now, Cancer. How much more of a specific message can we get for that? Um, but I always like to use an analogy uh, for this card, right? So let's just say with those seven of pentacles, right? Especially since this is the anxious card, you know, these, the anxiety, just think of anxiety like a seed, right? Like a plant. Um, you have your mental garden. And so you could feed your happy thoughts, right? Those your crops that give you like those berries and fruits and whatever that sustains you, right? From those crops. Or if you're anxiety, you put more energy because thoughts are energy, cancer, right? Uh, you put more energy, more thought into these negative or anxious narratives. That's where you're going to start growing, right? And the more the thing is with anxiety, with those type of seeds, they grow faster. They're like weeds, right? They'll just spruce up and just take up a lot of space compared to um, feeding energy into those positive things, right? It takes a little bit for the flowers to bloom and then to uh, bear fruit, right? So thinking about it in this way, the more you feed energy into those like bushy plants that don't provide anything besides clutter in your garden, the more real those situations are going to be, the more overwhelming those situations are going to be. So my number one suggestion for you, Cancer, is to not stop trying to find things to feed a narrative um, to like find reasons to like get yourself more worked up or more anxious I'm not saying that you don't have any level of reason to be anxious or whatever right because that's just not my business i don't know what's going on in y'all's lives in specific right but i can very much tell when i see an overthinker right especially in tarot cards honey cancer i've been doing this for too many years honey um and without fail whenever specific cards come forward in such a format like it did for you guys um, you guys are probably just in this heavy space of anxiety, so what can we do to rectify that, uh, Cancer, you know? It's more so like a, you know, let's see. Uh, let's see, actually, Cancer, uh, what it is that we should do to, uh, well, actually, how do we, this is how you know, uh, Cancer, that I don't like to just do, like, a structured thing, because, you know, like, when it comes to tarot, honey, if we're just being it by so structured, it limits, uh, spirit's message, in my opinion. So, uh, let's actually see, you know, whatever it is that you're feeling anxious about, my Cancer, let's see what the, um, what the cards are going to say about maybe, like, the result of it. Hopefully, maybe this will bring some peace of mind. Let's see here. All right. So getting these cards set up for you, Cancer. We have four. We have coming in, starting you out, King of Cups. We have the High Priestess card coming in here. We have the Two of Cups. And then we have the Ten of Swords coming in for you, uh, Cancer. So just give me a moment as I'm taking in this message, right? So that what's going to be panning out from this situation. Now, Ten of Swords, right? I feel like I need to address the elephant in the room here, right? Especially just because it's the most graphic card, honey, in this, right? You just see a bunch of swords, sta swords stabbed in your back, uh, Cancer. So, but the thing is, when it comes to the message of Ten of Swords, it's not just, it doesn't always just look this aggressive, right? Um, I do get the sense that... <sighs> Some of you, uh, Cancers, are having such a high level of anxiety because you don't have closure in a situation. I almost feel like you feel like you're up in the air with somebody, 
right? And you just don't know how, what that payout is going to, like, it's almost just like you don't know where you stand with something, uh, cancer, whether it's a person or whether it's just a situation. You don't know where it is, like, it feels, again, like, yeah, up in the air, cancer. Because of that, it's just stressing you out. And so you can respond to that stress in two ways. One, you can be more optimistic or you can be pessimistic, right? Um, this is where these two other cards come in, the High Priestess card and the, then the King of Cups. Some of you Cancers, like, I mean, I know it's such an easy cop-out thing to say, Cancer, but I do feel like it's important for you guys to start tapping into your intuition a little bit more. Um, because when you have the High Priestess card coming in here, I always like to see the High Priestess and the Hierophant as similar in a sense of where it's just like very much so uh, a lot of wisdom. But I see the High Priestess not only being for intuitive, but uh, having a more... A better connection to the spiritual world so your spirit guides honey your archangels whatever it is ancestors or whatever it is you subscribe to cancer it's none of my business um having a better in uh, relationship with them and be able to communicate with them and get receive uh guidance from them cancer so i just do get this sense of where it's just uh <sighs> If you were to tap into your intuition a little bit more, or if you were to just like take a moment to just pause, uh, Cancer, right? You were just meditating a little bit, right? I kind of feel as if, even if you're not going, because I feel like a lot of people anticipate um, hearing like a voice uh, or something like that when it comes to communication. But I kind of feel like if you were just to sit in some, with just in solitude for even like an hour, um, with just the intent on asking your guides, asking your ancestors, whatever it is you subscribe to, Cancer, hello, um, to receive some guidance. I feel like just during that quiet time, you're going to, at the lake, you'll probably have to, like a clearer understanding of what's going on. And at the very least with this King of Cups, something's going to come to light through connecting to your spirit guides or whatever, um, a better emotional, emotional clarity. So, um, and better way, just a better sense of grasp on your emotional state uh basically cancer so let's pull some clarifiers though we have the nine of swords coming in with the magician card as well as the six of swords so yeah truly cancer and i mm. so and you probably already suspect this as well um, your anxiety, you know, this is the anxiety card, the sleepless nights card, honey. I don't know how many, like, take a shot every single, don't actually, but take a shot every single time I say anxiety for your reading, Cancer. Um, the best way to, like, whatever is causing you anxiety, Cancer, um, once you tap into your, because I'm going to be careful about how I work this, once you tap into your intuition, once you take a moment to just pause in some silence and to really... Once you truly yourself, and this is up to whenever you you know yourself best, right? When you're at this King of Cups capability for yourself, at this mental stability, then I feel like it's almost important for you, Cancer, to look at the things that are causing anxiety in your life. If it's all internal, then honey, like you, that's that's perfect, honestly, because then that means you're in control of that anxiety. Then you can start working on it. We have somewhere to go, right? So it'll be easier to give yourself that closure when it's just you involved, right? That we talked about six of swords comes in where it's just like putting distance between you and that anxiety now obviously right this is just a message where it's just like you want to get out of this anxiety cancer obviously you don't need some tarot cards to tell you this but i do get this sense of where it's just like you know how i brought up closure a few minutes ago cancer where i feel like you got you guys need this some type of closure with this ten of swords where it feels like you're up in the air you don't know where you stand with the situation here that two of cups um I feel like you need to look at it objectively and see like if it's even providing any type of positivity in your life cancer if it's really uh conducive to your growth towards what it is that you're trying to bring into your life towards what it is you're trying to manifest cancer there is a definite calling for you, some of you guys to put your distance between you and the situation that's causing anxiety if it's a person you know i'm gonna i'm telling you more so like how i would translate this message for myself cancer um i would see this and be like okay like this is more so like an affirming message it's like i need to let something go um but i only say this cancer just in the sense of where it's just like i feel like it's extremely important for you guys to be extremely confident in yourself being in this state first i feel like this is essential for some of you guys because you know if you're feeling emotional and you're not tapped into your intuition i've done it myself cancer so i'm not saying anything about you honey uh, darling i've sabotaged plenty of connections in my life throughout the years honey 
because of not having a, a strong King of Cups emotional state at times before I made decisions, before I let go of things, because at the time I thought I was connecting to my intuition, whereas it's like my gut instinct telling me, oh, I need to leave this. When in actuality, I always say your ego can come in and sh uh, hide itself as your intuition. And so that's why it's really important to hold yourself accountable, keep yourself in check, because how you expose your ego trying to come in as your intuition it comes in with that emotional stability, right? Where you're able to put things in perspective, take yourself out of this um, situation so it doesn't feel personal and then just taking it all in, right? So really focus on trying to get to the state first before doing anything else, Cancer, um, right? But I do feel like, it, you know, you get the point with that. Then we drop, uh, we go and drop, we go into this uh, magician card for you, Cancer. Now, this is why I was saying it feels like you do need to have some type of closure in your situation from something in the past that's been, whether that past has been like a week or a year ago, something that's been giving that anxiety, right? Um, I do suspect it's been for a while now for you, Cancers. I do kind of get this sense of uh, frustration for how. You, I will say you might feel like you're going slow in your path, Cancer. I don't like to ever see it in that way, but I also acknowledge like how um, annoying it can sound when someone's just being like, oh no, that's not truly a negative. There's no such thing as a negative emote. Shut up, girl. <laughs> right? Um, <laughs> more me talking to me, honestly, because I know I can be that kind of obnoxious, right? But and this magician card, I do feel like the standstill that's happening, what's stopping you guys from this creation process, because the magician is the master of the own reality. Um, the magician is the one that's actively creating the things that they want in their life. I feel like this is being impeded. This energy is being impeded, Cancer, because of this, because you need some closure in some situation. Until you get closure in, in, in this situation, I don't see forward progression. Um, for uh, I don't see you being able to manifest to your highest potential we'll say cancer because i do see you guys, obviously you guys are um in the state of creation in the state of um going forward in life honey because honey you were you're watching this video right now breathing right uh sometimes we are just so hard on ourselves cancer when at the end of the day uh, there are just times cancer that you know i think it's important to just even celebrate the fact that we're you are made it alive another day you know i feel like it's so important to um not be so critical of ourselves and you know if you can't get close if your anxiety is coming from another person cancer that you feel as if you can't get closure because they won't give you that closure you don't need to get closure from them at the very least you can put it in perspective right if um you know you have some family trauma cancer and you feel like you're trying to just work through it you're trying to talk about talk through things cancer and no one wants to hear it no one wants to talk about it you can just take that as a sign of where it's just like all right this person i see where i rank in their level of care for emotions right i'm clearly not high enough right or you you feel as if you're clearly not high enough right to get that closure and so you put it for what it is if they don't if they show that they're not that invested into your mental health and your healing in this relationship connection between you and that person cancer that shows that they just shouldn't be part of your life and that's when you get into that six of swords i wish i didn't start shuffling so i could reference it again that's when you shift and you'd be like all right you know i'm not gonna take it personally right i'm gonna just keep it moving right but give them that chance cancer right um in the sense of where it's just like you know for some of you guys if you feel like you're being neglected or they don't want to talk to you if we're just using for the simplicity for the message and just like not getting that closure from another person you know make sure that you know especially if you know what you get the point cancer i feel like i don't need to really um babble on too much longer for that i even got like a little bit teary i don't know if anyone noticed um when giving that message but um i hope that was a little bit healing for some of you guys and uh yeah uh so cancer we talked about all that right let's just get a quick uh heads up for what it is that you should be looking out for this week uh cancer you know this is my favorite uh kind of reading to do right here this part right here because it's like I feel it's so important, like, Tara helps us get, of our, get us out of our own perspective, out of our own situation, and has us looking at our own lives um, objectively, or 
from a more analytical place and being like, okay, like, you know, like if communication is the thing I need to work on, then we can work on that, right? I feel like it's so important to just be able to go into a week feeling prepared for what might come, right? Such a long spiel that no one asked for, Cancer, right? Uh, Knight of Pentacles, what it is that you, Cancer, should be, uh, I don't want to say worried about, but uh, look out for for this week. So, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, honey. We have the Empress card. And then we have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands. I'm not, I don't wear my glasses for videos because of the reflection, so I can't see it. Um, Cancer, what I'm getting with this is where it's just, do not get stuck into making a decision or stuck in, in a place of indecision. With the Seven of Cups here, it feels like, again, this sense of feeling overwhelmed, right? As we started out this reading, feeling overwhelmed with options, with potential outcomes, potential avenues, right? Um, I kind of feel like there is just this sense of, um, you know, I guess this is kind of like a, summarizing the same message that I was saying before. This Empress card, this is growth. This is a lot of character experience, right? Character development in this situation here. And so I almost feel like you're just thinking too hard over analyzing some certain aspects in your life, Cancer. And it's just one of those things where it's just like, don't take life so seriously. Don't take this situation so seriously. I know it might feel extremely serious to you and very real right now, but you know, you're, you're, you're the Knight of Pentacles. You're slow, it's the slowest night out of all of them, but it's the most consistent night in getting that progress, right? It's very much so the tortoise and the hare, right? Um, keep on trucking through Cancer. Page of Wands, this is what's coming to you. This is what you have to look forward to, but you're not gonna be able to get to this Page of Wands if you keep being stuck in this place of indecisiveness and getting paralyzed by what the universe is throwing at you with all these different lessons, right? These different chapters that you have to address. Honestly, I mean, I'm not gonna like try to give some type of um, fluffy answer insight to this but it's one of those times where it's just like i will i like to say sometimes where it's just like if you can look at, up at the universe while you're in the middle of your breakdown honey while you're just sobbing and you're just being beat up by the universe as long as you can look up and still say thank you that means you're on the right track that means that you have a lot of good things coming to you right just think about um what it is that you're going through right now as a way to bring you um, to this new beginning that I feel like a lot of you guys are craving. It feels like a lot of you, I keep on hearing fresh start and Page of Wands is my fresh start card and I'm just kind of realizing it. So, um, I love you so much, Cancer. Thank you for allowing me to do this reading for you. Your story gets so much better. I know you probably feel extremely overwhelmed right now. Obviously we talk about anxiety, take another shot, don't. But, um, yeah, things are going to get better for you, uh, it's called your Scorpio Cancer. Um, so keep your head up. Keep your head up above water. I know you can. You have been to the, up until this point, honey. So I'm cheering, cheering you on, Cancer. So until next time, I love you so much, Cancer. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. If you found some cards that resonate, let me know in the comments below. Uh, give this video a like and subscribe, Cancer. And also, I do the weekly Zodiac readings for all the Zodiac signs, Cancer. So if you have a friend that's into tarot at all, or even if they're not, um, send them one of my videos. Maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. But until next time, Cancer, I love you so much. Bye.